Yes. Yes, guys. Good morning to all. This morning, I'm in Bridgestone. Once again, we're the country's capital. Standing from Independence Square in Bridgestone. Outside of the Bird House, where there's about store is, sports and games, and the National Library Service Building, and so on. So now I will take a walk through town, down by the wharf side, the boardwalk, and make my way downtown. So I'm starting from here uptown now. Starting from the above section of Bridgetown. We are looking towards the Fairchild Street bus terminal. Which is now the Granville Williams bus terminal. And this is the taxi stand here in Fairchild Street. I mean in Independence Square. So this is the Granville Williams bus terminal here. The red building ahead of me. Which was once the Fairchild Street bus terminal. Here, which was once a car park years ago. Now it is a country park or city park where persons can sit and relax and enjoy the sights and sounds of the city. <coughs> a statue of Arrow Barrow here. Arrow Barrow was our first Prime Minister, <coughs> father of independence, and he's also a national hero. He's the one who led us into independence from Britain on the 30th of November 1966. Arrow Barrow. He's also a national hero. He was born the 21st of January 1920 and died the 1st of June 1987. His birthday will be tomorrow. His birth date will be tomorrow. And we keep that as a public holiday in Barbados every January 21st. So by tomorrow is Sunday, we will hold the birth date on, we will hold the public holiday on Monday. You can see National Library Service Building here, which was once Modern Living a plant store. And this is the Karina here, which is also referred to as the wharf. And this is also a fountain. This was a fountain, but I don't see it operating anymore. It is in the shape of Barbados' flag. This is the wharf here, known as the Karina. So when then Billy Miller was a member of Parliament for the city. Of Bridgetown. She is the one who transformed Farm Independence Square from being a mere car park to a city park where persons can sit and relax and enjoy the sights and sounds of the city because her aim was that Bridgetown needs to have life in it at night. So she transformed Independence Square and she also transformed the, the Chamberlain Bridge from a lift bridge, from a swing bridge to a lift bridge where it will be headed to shortly. You can see the parliament building over here, which is the third oldest parliament in the western hemisphere. And this is the treasury building here, known as the Barbados Revenue Authority building. I think this building is closed now. And I think they are planning to transform it into a hotel. You can see the Bridgestone Mall here, which was once Julian Supermarket. Then it was Trey Mark Supermarket. Now it is the Bridgestone Mall. So this is the statue of Errol Barrow here, who was our first Prime Minister father of independence and also a national hero So this is also a taxi stand as well. 
Haus äh, nach Stein. Nach Independence Square, which was also built here by Dan Miller, when she was a member of parliament for the city of Bridgestone. She, is who, she also did this fountain as well. But she finds from Bridgestone. Thanks to the brilliant minds of our politicians. This is the massive stores here. Which was formerly for cost of money for plants and furniture store. So no head is a water chamber near this bridge. Before I get to the bridge, this is the massive store here. This is the massive. First of all, I'm looking towards Lower Bear Street here. Lower Bear Street, where Carla Bay is. So you can see Pirate School. And this is the former Manning Appliance and Furniture Store, which later became Massey Stores. It was Manning's first, then it was later changed to the cost of Manning's, then it went to Massey. Now the building is vacant. Since 2022, when Massey was closed over here. Now we're heading towards the Independence Arch. The Independence Arch here, which was built by Lord Erskine Sandiford when he was the Prime Minister. Constructed by the Ministry of Transport and Works and declared open by the Prime Minister, the Honorable Lloyd Erskine Sandiford, Member of Parliament, on the occasion of Barbados' 21st anniversary of independence on the 30th of November 1987. So, this is all the back of Massey stores, and this is Kevin's Lane. It's no block off now. One time you could walk through there, but it's block off now. It looks like the bridge is going to lift again. So this is not the Chamberlain Bridge. The lift bridge which used to swing years ago. It now lifts to let large vessels across the sea. This was this bridge, this bridge was converted from a lift bridge to, to from a swing bridge to a lift bridge. No, can see all the wall here. This bridge was converted from a, a swing bridge to a lift bridge now. And between 2005 and 2006. <laughs> Go ahead and down. Towards the wharf side. Back at the Parliament at the Barbados Revenue Authority building, you known as the Treasury building. And you can see the some more here again. And this is the Wharf Road now. I am on the Wickham and Lewis Boardwalk. This is the monument dedicated that was built to the national heroes, and dedicated to family or something like that, which was unveiled on the 20th. The 28th of November 2023, which was two months ago. This is the monument here that was dedicated to family. And you can see the parliament building in the background, which is the third oldest parliament in the Western Hemisphere. This monument was built in dedication to the families or something like that. Really Nelson statue used to be. This is Chamberlain place here. 
which was Manning's appliance store. Manning used to be in here years ago as well. Manning appliance store was in here for many years and many decades until the mid to late 90s when they closed down. And then it was um, Total Sport clothing store was in here for a while. And then Chafet moved here in 2001, which is still is today. This is also a taxi stand on Lower Broad Street. You see all the party cruise ships, all the party boats in. All the party boats in. Nope. Back to the Chamberlain Lift Bridge at the Independence Arch. Oh, check that here. We are managing a plant store. Was so this is walking downtown now via the Chamberlain Bridge. Where the um, Wickham and Lewis Boulevard, sorry. I'm walking down the wharf road. So this is rolling downtown now. Back, Karma Barclays back here, which which is no first Caribbean bike. And this is all the wharf here, known as the Corinage. And to the front of this is Broad Street, where you can see the Kia Shepherd store. So the back part here is the wharf road, and the front is uh, Cable and, and the front is Broad Street, where Kia Shepherd is. And this is Liverpool lane here, that will lead back to Broad Street as well. You can see the cash base, cash for gold store with the ships, what the studio was. And this is the old immigration building. Back up. We're heading down on the wharf road. This Borwa was built here between the late 90s and the early 2000s. Years ago, from what I've seen in pictures, the, car, the, the box used to park right here because this was the port years ago before the port moved downtown. Even before this Borwa was built here, the car used to be passing close to the ships that park up the road. Bartel was our cable and wireless in Barbados. Bartel stands for Barbados Telecommunications. All the car lot can park here. And this is the house here. Where the telephone company was. Then it was cable and wireless.
Tony Rosa used to be down here, but I don't see it down here anymore. I believe I got it. Okay. building and the car the car park and you can see the neutral like the showroom the building it's over here so this is all the waterfront here this is all the waterfront you can see the MV Dream Chaser boat here Helicopter, it's really basic helicopter is used to operate from the helicopter base. The basic helicopter no longer operates since 2009. All the car house here. Heading down to town now, this is Hink Street now. Which will be leading down to the bridge stop port and the water harbor. And it will also be leading you to um it will also be leading you to the Princess Alice bus terminal. And the immigration building is down here. So this is Shepherd's Street now. And this is Jaffet Restaurant again. Jaffet at Lower Broad Street. So this is Jaffet Ross Restaurant. Lower Broad Street, and this is Kentucky here. So at Lower Broad Street, and this will lead the Battle Courts here. here. And this is the Lower Broad Street taxi stand here. You can see up to Lower Broad Street. And this is the old mutual labor show what's building. Which is now a part of the university of the West Indies. And this is the city of Bridgestone. Cooperative Credit Union here. It became Jubilee Gardens. 
So this is Jubilee Gardens here. There are vendors now to supply their trade on a daily basis. This was the old or green bus stand years ago. Buses from this bus stand will take you to destinations in the north and west of the island. You can see the old town hall building here. And this is the Quartz Appliance Store here in Bridgetown. And you can see St. Mary's Anglican Church over here. Just opposite Jubilee Garden, where the Lord Green Bus Stand used to be. Of course, a plant store. Thanks for watching and have a blessed morning.